Hello, this is Brian Klein with Thunderhead Engineering. Uh, today I'd like to take you through a tutorial on how to use Pyrosim and a utility called SmokeDiff to compare FDS output data sets. This can be useful for uh, comparing quality metrics or even just data like velocities, temperatures, anything that you'd like to take a look at between two different uh, FDS simulation result sets. To start with, SmokeDiff does not come with the Pyrosim installation package by default, so we'll need to retrieve that and install it from the NIST Google project. And so if we go to code.google.com slash p slash fds dash smv, go to downloads, and then I want to view a list of current downloads. I do not want to install the entire FDS and SmokeView package. In this case, I want uh, just SmokeView itself. There are some test packages here of SmokeView, but I'm going to use the latest of sort of official release and download the uh, SmokeView 6.0.4 Win64 EXE file. So we just get that. Once that's downloaded, you can then run that. It will extract it to program files FDS, FDS5 bin, and I will go ahead and unzip that. And it should run a batch file which associates the SmokeView extension with SmokeView executable. Um, and then adds the uh, path to our system variables. So I can say hit enter and I say OK to that. And now everything should be up to date. Once we have that installed, we can confirm that it works by doing CMD and then just typing smoke diff and making sure that we get an answer back at the command line. So that is set up for now. OK, once we have um, that checked out, we want to take a look at what is SmokeDiff exactly. So uh, if we go to this SmokeView user's guide, which you can get through, uh, if you go to help, more help, FDS user's guide is here, and the SmokeView user's guide is here. Uh, in the SmokeView user guide, in section 17.2, differencing, there's using SmokeDiff to compare two cases. So this basically gives you the basic form of the command and then some options here. What we're going to be using is a little bit different command than this, um, but this is uh, because we'll be using some of these options for directories and referencing and things like that. Um, and what we'll be differencing in our uh, FDS cases this time is a quantity known as MTR, or um, Measure of Turbulence Resolution. So um, in Pyrosim, this is just referred to as turbulence resolution because that's what the parameter, the quantity, is called in FDS. Um, if you want to read more about what these metrics are, you can look at section 14.3.15, a posteriori mesh quality metrics. This section describes MTR and the measure of turbulence resolution and goes into how it's derived and and what it means and what you're actually measuring. So um, I will leave that to you to follow up on and read through and not describe it here. To do a differencing, you need at least two files, right? So, and, and the way SmokeDiff works is comparing two different data sets. So uh, I've made two files. I have QM1 and QM2. The difference between QM1 and QM2, the only difference is the number of cells in the X, Y, and Z axis. So um, QM1 is 40, 40, 12, and uh, QM2, the mesh is 80-80-24. So QM2 has you know basically a factor of 2 increase um, in the number of mesh cells. So to measure turbulence resolution there's some tricks and uh, what we need here is a slice. Uh, we'll be comparing these two different slice file data sets. You can compare boundaries, plot 3D, surfaces, uh, or uh, slices. That's that's what this smoke diff tool is for. Uh, I've created a new slice on the x-plane at halfway through and I'm using the gas phase quantity turbulence resolution. You just pick that from the set. Use vectors, yes. I'm, I just have that set because I like to see vectors as an option in my slices. Um, then you run, just run the simulation. After you've run the simulation, you will have the MTR slice in slice file turbulence resolution y equals 5. And so here I see the results. And so if I kind of zoom in here, what we're seeing here is the MTR value between 0 um, and 0.5. Um, there's some discussion about what values you would like to see when you know that you're resolving the turbulence well. Um, but what we can see here is our areas, our hot spots, are going to be on the edges of the plumes. Um, this is not showing you the plume itself, but 
uh, but this measurement of turbulence resolution. Uh, and we can see on the edges and then along the ceiling jet, as things are uh, more dynamic on these edge effects, um, that's where we would see uh, the measurements change more dramatically. So um, there's the first, or this is the QM2 case. Now what we want to do is to look at the difference between these two. And something important to note here is that smoke diff won't show you which one is more correct or more right. Um, that's that you would do your analysis through the data itself, just looking at the MTR values and making some decisions about that. What smoke diff can show you is where these two sets of MTR values in this slice plane differ. And so uh, we'll go in here now and uh, I've created a command um, for smoke diff that I'll be using on the command line here and I just want to walk through the settings here um, you know as I said here in section 17.2 you can see what all of these mean but uh, we'll walk through it here and it's smoke diff dash SMV means it's going to run the smoke view application after the differencing uh, analysis is complete I do not want to difference uh, boundaries or plot 3D files, so that's what these two switches do. Dash S1 says where is the SMV file um, for the first um, case, and S2 is where is the SMV file for the second case. Dash D is a reference to where I want my differencing results to be placed, and so I have created uh, I created just another directory here with results um, in it, or an empty, basically a blank directory, but this is where my results will go uh, when I run this command. And I can just copy this, and I go to um, over here to my command line, and I can just right click and paste that in. When I hit enter, it goes through the differencing process and will automatically launch smoke view. So it wrote to the results directory these files, which are the differenced slices, and now I can load that. And what I'm seeing here now is not MTR, but the difference in MTR between case one, QM1, and case two, QM2. And so um, you can see that in a similar way, the areas uh, sort of of the most activity here in terms of um, like dynamics between uh, you know more static flow and more active flow is where um, our, our most turbulent regions are. So um, that's where we should see these differences show up or be most apparent. So that's that's basically the process. You can then take a look at this. Maybe I have a third file that I want to compare against the first one or against the second one. You can go through the same process. Um, just changing your case names and your and your locations, um, and uh, rerun smoke diff after you've run your simulations, and and take a look at those differences. Um, that's that's about it. I hope that this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email support at thunderheadeng.com, and we'd be happy to help you out there. So uh, take care and thank you for watching.